Professor Fossing, what are current trends with regard to IT for clinical decision making? Well, I deeply hope that the current trends will uh, help us to make a correct diagnosis. So it's a little bit uh, computer-aided diagnosis. And uh, if you really look forward for the next two or ten years, uh, then we will have software tools like um, deep learning tools where the computers do something like unsupervised learning and uh, really describe images by themselves. So uh, it could be that in 20 years we don't need radiologists anymore. That sounds rather challenging. So the current development probably then is based on cases and information on those cases by radiologists who read the images and do their reports, right? Right. That is the business model today. But uh, even today this is not true anymore because in a couple of fields like, uh, for example, screening, if you look at MR mammography, for example, we already have software tools that uh, give us at least hints which lesions are malignant and which lesions are benign. And if you think of a scenario where MR mammography becomes a screening tool, you will never find a radiologist who is willing to look at thousands of MR mammograms per month. Uh, and we need software for that. The same is true for lung screening, for example. If you imagine that you have to look through thousands and thousands of lung slices as a radiologist per day, you never will find somebody who likes to do that. So we need these tools and they are already there. So what are the options for radiologists? Will subspecialties help because possibly the competence required for those cases goes deeper than algorithms can manage? Well, subspecialization clearly helps. But that will not kind of uh, be able to block a technology like deep learning, for example. If you look at this technology and these algorithms, they work like neural networks in our brain. Um, that is a totally different approach. So subspecialization is nice. We need that. And uh, it, it will, I mean, it will take a couple of years until this software really goes into radiology. But I always use the example of laboratory medicine. And 30 years ago, the uh, white blood cell count was made by technicians. And nowadays, it's totally made by machines. And to be honest, it's better now. And if it turns out that these programs will be better than super specialized radiologists, then this technology will replace radiologists. So technology will also influence the turf battle, right? Because clinical peers will have the support from algorithms? Uh, well, I won't call that turf battle. That is just, uh, I mean, this is te technology and development. And we as radiologists, we cannot block that. If it turns out that this technology is brilliant, then we will be replaced. And there's no way out of this dilemma? Y yes, of course. I mean, if it turns out that you cannot make algorithms that are smarter than the radiologist's brain, then we will survive, otherwise not.